Hello, I'm Emma Z again to take you through the recipe of our latest delicacy, Wahan Muya Chakri. We first take a bowl and in it, we add some rice and soak it in hot water. And we do the same with some masuri dal which we take in a bowl and soak it in hot water as well. After we are done with that, we take the special item for this special recipe, which is muya. Sorry, muya is what bamboo shoot is known as in the kogborok vernacular. Now we slice the muya into small pieces and to it we add our another favorite item, wahan, which is pork. Now if you haven't watched our recent uploads on wahan dishes, please do make sure and watch it but after this video is over. So we add to the mixture some salt and add water, we mix them well and put it inside a pressure cooker. Now we cook it until one whistle, after which we take out the muya, the wahan. We do not overcook it, do not make it too soft so that it is just good enough for us to have a solid bite of the meat of the bamboo shoot after the chakhui is finally prepared. See the evaporation and after which we add the soaked dal to it. The reflection from the sunlight is making the scene very natural and we add some water to it and set it for boiling. So in order to make the boiling faster, we cover the pot with a lid. Meanwhile, we take some ginger in a bowl and using a pestle, we grind the ginger into fine paste. So now we have the mixture in the pot reaching its boiling point. See how the dal is cooked, it's looking soft and the color has also changed. And on top of it, we add the crushed ginger. And we also add few chilies, we slit them into half. Now the choice of for the number of chilies is up to you. And there we have, we have added the chilies. So we make sure that everything is mixed well, making sure that the dal, the bamboo shoot, the chili, the ginger is, everything is mixed well. So we also add some salt to add taste. And we once again cover the pot with a lid in order to boil the mixture inside. And it actually makes the boiling faster because we have covered it with a lid. After it has reached boiling point, it's time to add the baking soda. We add the baking soda and look at how the bubbles are being formed and it's, it's very satisfying to the eyes. And we're making sure that we mix everything very well. So after we have mixed the baking soda, we once again cover the pot with a lid. Then on to the next step, we take the soaked rice in a bowl and what we do with the rice is we also, like we did to the ginger, we crush it, we grind it nicely into a fine white creamy paste. And after we are done with that, we open the lid of the pot and we add the rice paste into the mixture. Now we add the rice paste in order to thicken the gravy and also to add the flavor of rice to the, to the food that we are preparing. And also see how the gravy here has thickened because the dal has dissolved into the gravy and it's looking very thick and nice. The color is also looking very attractive. The last but not the least, in fact, the important step is to add the lemon skin. We peel some lemon skin and we add it. Now, make sure to savor this moment because the moment you add the lemon skin, the aroma that comes out, actually, it's, it's just out of this world. And, and the overall taste is taken to a whole new another level. So we are almost done with the cooking. We cover the lid once again and the food is now ready. The, it's very spicy and also it's served hot. So in the traditional tribal way, we serve it with some rice, with some onion, with some chutney, with some chili. I suggest you, my dear friends, that you make sure you try this recipe at home and I'm sure, I promise you, that you will surely enjoy it. Thanks for watching.
Cảm ơn mọi người After which we take them out and then see how the muya and the wahan it's not overcooked it's not very soft but it's just good enough for us to cook it once again so that we can make the chakhui very delicious and it's looking very nice reddish orange color also the, the the sunlight is making it look very nice then we pour one we crush them with the pest in, 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 in a in a in a in a bowl and you can see how the 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 the, the food inside the, the 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 crushed ginger the baking soda look at how the bubbles are forming it looks very satisfying to the eyes we take the, the the soaked rice we put it in a bowl and using a pestle we grind it grind it nicely and turn in order to thicken the gravy and also to add the rice flavor the, f the flavor of the rice into the curry disappeared because it's, it's it has lemon skin who eats lemon skin but you see how useful this lemon skin is for this curry because the moment you put it savor the moment because the aroma that comes out the moment you you put in the lemon skin it's just um, I'm, I'm speechless because it's just so the aroma, the fragrance is so nice now. The the chakri is spicy. It's hot. It's just ready to be served. And and look, we have in the traditional tribal way, we have put some. Thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed watching our latest video. Please do like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.